everybody, my name is Farmer Phil and today we are going mowing the second cut silage to go into the pit on top of the whole crop. We have 38 acres to mow, that's it, that's all we're cutting. The big field as we call it, the one big field. Um, the rest will go for bales that we have. But anyway, before I go mowing, I better fill with diesel. And before you watch any more of the video, please like and subscribe to the channel. Ring the bell so you get notified on my videos all the time. Leave a comment down below, all helps. Push the videos along and help me get to 50,000 subscribers, which we're getting there nice and handy. Anyways, and also if you haven't, if you aren't already aware, we are running a picture competition for the young people out there. So there's two categories, over eights and under eights. So you can draw, paint a picture of whatever you want, send it to us, Stuart Family Farms. There's a, the address is in the description down below and you can send it into us there, a little competition for all the boys and girls and you'll and Williams have some farmer fill merchandise and we're going to throw in a few pens and pencils there as well for some other pe for some other lucky boys and girls as well and we'll probably keep it open for another week and get, then we'll go through the pictures and see how we're doing anyways we'll fill up with diesel we'll bay on down to the field and the sky as you can see it ain't looking too hectic and it has rained but it's drying there's a good lively wind it is keeping the rain moved along and dried but so here we are now before i get out i'm just going to warn you it's very windy so the audio could be bad from this point on or whenever i'm outside the tractor very very windy so there's going to be a big mash there is a, a big mash of grass on this it's gone too strong there's going to be a lot of stuff off it, but it's 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 just too strong that's just the unfortunate thing about it now there's not much we can do about it um what we usually do is we put cattle on this after the first cut graze it for a month then take it up and do whole crop spring stuff and then this but because we were going with winter crops the whole crop we said we wouldn't put cattle on it and we cut it and we cut all that bit earlier but with the weather the way it is and it's, it's starting to rain again and um, we didn't get to do that and it meant the crop was ripe and the grass is far too strong but what can we do it's actually i think it could even be bent into the ground now at this stage so it may not mow that terribly terrible well now anyways we'll get back into the tractor and look at it's misting again but we're going more away because we wouldn't want to get this finished and we'll get our pick covered there's a few docks throughout you'll see when i do bits the time lapse and that something for us to try and get ahead of next year anyways yeah we'll get to it so we're just at 10 to 10 to 3 so it should be finished at 10 to 6 should be provided nothing goes wrong so i need to get my setup i am on mowing and then i press two is that on now just make sure everything does what everything should do so that goes down that goes down that goes down that goes up that goes up that goes up And we're away. First round done. Now we let the two mores into it. And just on that, if I remember rightly, back when we had the 1390 or 1395, we had the Dahatronics, which is that but on the, the first variation. And with the eight foot more, one round round this field, you'd mow an acre in one round. So that means I've an acre down, so only another 37 to go. Will I help the mowers from more engaged? And it starts, let's open the door, listen to it. Sounds okay. Engage the back mower. It's on. Give her the trunky. Up to speed. So 
sun's okay. Right. Let's get moving. So, as you can probably tell, that bit too much rain. So, quite literally, just after having a miller of a shower, I stopped praying, Father Phil. He says, come back round to the gate, I'll pick you up. What can we do? The problem is, if you mow grass when it's wet, it stays wet. If you mow grass when it's dry, it gets wet. Unless you get an awful lot of rain, it doesn't really go into it. But that's just after spoiling that all together. So, I think we could be doing well to be mowing um, later on after that. It was, this wasn't, it was to dry up at 3 o'clock, it's half 3 now. If all comes to all now, because I think tomorrow is to be wet enough too. We're going to pull a bit of polythene over the, over the whole crop and we're going to leave this till Monday. And we are back, ladies and gentlemen, we are back mowing. It is now seven o'clock, so three and a half hours has passed. Yeah. Give a bit of a smur there when we got here, but it's not too bad. Concrete dried at home, that's when we come back. Either Jessica or Eric will be here with the uh, rake quite shortly, and they'll be here with the harvester very soon afterward. And it'll be something that I've never seen before. The mower, the rake, all the whole silage out for him the field at one time. So yeah, pressure pressure definitely on me to get this down. <laughs> Who needs wet? Anyways, so yeah, today's video has gone up there. The first of the whole crop videos. Everyone is seeing how great the, the, the drone video or footage is, and just on and just a little bit of what's going on behind the scenes that I don't think has been said in a video before. Um, me and Eric are doing the drone flying. In that video, Eric done the first bit and I done the last bit. And you'll always know the difference between who's flying the drone. Eric is very safe. And I'm not gonna give out to him, he's safe. He knows that if he breaks the drone, he'll um, not be in the good books. But he's very safe and he's always, he, he can't move the drone smoothly. There is a setting on the drone for smoothing out the movements. But when you do that, it also means that if you need to stop because you're about to run into something, it stops slowly and then you run into stuff. So I'd never try to engage that. Whereas I take risks, I drove, flew in between the harvester and the tractor and trailer. And I kind of like to, I always like to keep moving. When I'm taking a shot, I always like to be moving, either up or down or just keep moving. Keep the drone moving, not just follow it across the field. But um, that's how you know the difference. And also Liv is doing a good bit of editing now she's kind of taken over because I'm bollocks, there's no other way to say it. I edited the, about the first seven, nine minutes of the, that video, the first of the whole crop videos, and Liv says, here, you take a nap, I'll do some and you can finish it. And next thing I knew, she woke me up to say, yeah, she had it done and we'll go to bed. So Liv is doing quite a bit of editing, so, and she's doing an absolutely fantastic job have to hand it to her, she's on the nail. So everyone is, is helping out to keep to keep the old truck wagon chugging along. But um, yeah, we'll pick up gear and we'll get this down. And hopefully it doesn't rain too much more that we don't have to stop. Hopefully, fingers crossed. So, quite literally just have the back swart done. So 12 rounds around the field and Father Finn Lunker after arriving for bring me home for a big grub. I was actually starting to wonder where they were because I thought they'd be out here so I'd say they'd be coming out after tea so I'd be starting ups and downs so yeah it's gonna get exciting in a half an hour we're just back in the tractor to start mowing more just after the dinner or tea but look what is arriving in the yard <laughs> and Eric hasn't the first round done so the Jag is in the field, Liv is in the field, Robert's on his way and Eric is quite literally doing the first line, you can just about see him. I've never seen this before, everything in the one field from mowers to rake to track to the harvester, never seen it before. So this is going to make for a good video, I think anyways. So I'm going to get to it, I don't think I'm going to be the weakest link, Eric I'm pretty sure is going to be the slow one in this situation. So I'm not under as much pressure, so I'll try and get some more time, I'll get some time lapse footage in that. It's quarter to nine. It's going to take three hours 
to lift this three to four hours so um yeah let's get to it this is going to be oh.
silent and our whole crop in but there is something again us honest <laughs> god it is just a <laughs> holy terror <laughs> and loading shovel is after breaking down the fourth time this year that shovel has broke down we done the back diff and we fixed it then the carrier for the back diff or the, the whole back axle sheared the studs we got that fixed while the back hubs went and I never made any mention of that it happened when we were cleaning our shed we got that fixed and now the loading shovel is going not wanting to drive forward or backwards and uh, we the father fell just after talking to him they're after stopping because the kids uh, they can't lift anymore so they're going into the yard to see what is wrong Friday the 13th <laughs> it is that and all Friday the 13th Anyways, I'm told finish out the morn while it's dry and then we're just going to have to see what tomorrow brings. I think I'm just going to cut filming at this and we'll pick it up again, again tomorrow and see what we do. But the mood is very good at the moment. It's early the next morning and the replacement has arrived. Oh, I got to put a bit of engine oil in the 6480 and I'm on the draw down walls mode last night. So we just have to try and get as much as we can done before the rain. Just starting the ups and downs. Rounds off it. I'm not going to say anything about the weather because I surely think I can jinx it. Pro is going to get under pressure very soon because I, I can't see him being able to stay ahead of us. My Hero 9, which I'm holding now, used to have gorilla legs that you could wrap around and stuff, and all three of them are broke. So I need to go get myself another one. So, but just. Oops, metal detector. And it goes again. Maybe if it was Eric throwing out an old bolt just to slow us down, he wouldn't know. What well, I was, put out the camera to see, 
is usually when we cut this field for the second cut we have our vintage silage day if we had to run it last year and this year it'd have been this would have been our seventh year running it but of course with covid last year and again covid this year we haven't run it so if you want to check out some of the previous videos from the silage day um i'm trying pulling cards or if you just look up like, long for vintage silage day you'll see i think i have three videos and four videos here of it not the quality of video you see today but um what i used to the old kind of style of video i used to make no drone footage or anything but anyways better get back on the road and be home back to the yard Liv was just coming down the road there yeah i let her in see if it's having a pass on the road so it's not over over wide I have to say 60 to 70 cleaned up very well. That Bertie is where he's sitting in the footwell there. Happy out. She's some woman for one woman. here trying to keep the grass up it's, it's the same issue we run into last year the pick gets so big it's the length of time it takes to take a grab a silage from there and bring it all the way to the back of the pit catches it catches you and then we're on a relatively short draw so there is no time in between loads he's working away there and he wants me to tip this tractor and this trailer is a very slow tip very slow tip I see quite a few comments commenting on Uncle Ian when we're be kind of going about the yard fixing and that you see Uncle Ian sitting down or lying against them that's because he's not in the best of health while he's up there and he's in his element pushing up and the same with the combine and he's not able for much physical work uh, sitting down and driving doesn't do him any harm anyways oh, we'll go back to the field and we keep drawing so, it's just our head to spit a wee bit. Not, not of any harm yet, but it's just starting to spit. So I get a little bit nasty. Just chatting to our fill there. And George has gone up to him now to, I don't know, push, help push up or roll. And so I'm gonna go back to the yard and try and pull more plastic back. We aren't fully covering the first cut. We only got half of it pulled back because it was really, we need to get going want to try and beat as much of this rain as we could and um, so I'm going to go try and pull that back and then drop them back to two trailers for two or three rounds of load should give them a bit more time to get up and down the pit and it, it might alleviate the situation and then stripping the pit that another bit is going to give them more space to dump a heap of stuff so we're going to work on that assumption and um, yeah try and keep going so we're cut just to the gate now so yeah we're halfway to feed so well underway now row is just about finished rowing not no it gets really short up up this end you know you get two runs into a into a trailer rather than at the other end where one run is the full of the trailer and maybe not even so i got bags of powder to give to father phil just went to the house and got myself a drink of water because moving all them tires by myself not the simplest of jobs anyways you have had to fill the powder I'll go back and get the other tractor and trailer we get this thing. The extra tractor on the pit is just making the job of that now it just the rolling of the pit leaves the load and shovel gets up and down the pit that bit quicker and easier and there's eight ish load left 
So I left them down two bags of Agri King Cider King powder to finish up with and that should hopefully keep keep it nice. I think Lip should get what's left. Some total of a handful of short sparks. It is massive. We'll see them when we get back in there. I was hoping to get the drone up and bro finish he could fly it, but that didn't happen. Hi Bertie! Hi Libby! Is that it? All done. Oh Robert has a bit too. Oh, okay. Hey Bertie, how are you? You enjoy your day in the tractor? Are you hungry? Ready for a big fry now, yeah? Oh, oh, oh. There's going to be a bit of covering in that. Do you think it's bigger than last year? Yeah, I don't think there's much in it now. But it's a big pit all the same. I leave you to tip your load. Now, Robert, you go tip your load. Yeah. yeah. tractors and the pit rolling it down so that is the silent in the crowd of has gone to get sheets Spend some grapes to clean the trackway out so we can catch if there is any effluent which there shouldn't be with all the whole country broken up but just to catch it but anyways look that is it for today's video the loading shovel which is out in the quarry field now what we're going to do with it we're going to have a look just to see what is wrong father phil thinks that it's uh, the drives for the hydrostatic for actually driving the machine is gone but it could be a wire could be a switch could be something simple that's gone it says the four it's not going forward or backwards but it, if it is that it's it's we're not going to fix it she's going for breaking and we are going to have to get something else so please leave a comment down below what do you think we should get for next season we're gonna hang on to the 416 to finish up the lock of second cut pits we have still to do and third cut and the maze and whatnot we'll, we'll rent the 416 to get through the rest of the season leave a comment down below what do you think we should invest in but anyways we better get to it i'm not going to film putting on the cover because i don't have the battery the space or the patience to film it that is it from me for today's video that's the second cut side the next thing we'll be going into pits here is the maze but anyways that's a video for another day i better get to uh, do these pair of women and help them and i'll probably get four ten bros man anyways we're going to leave it at that so i hope you enjoyed today's video as always please like and subscribe to the channel videos every tuesday thursday and sunday that is it for me good luck